tonight. Crime is everywhere. Some fashionistas would say I'm committing one right now. <laughs> well, I object. You don't have a case, but you know who does? The people in our next game, NCIS WTH. <laughs> Okay, so for this game, I'll show you a crime scene that represents the outcome of a wild internet video. As detectives, you'll deduce what happened and we'll watch the video to see how close you got. I'm putting 30 seconds on the clock. Guy, you're first. Good, everyone's wearing their hats. Perfect. All right. Let's see your crime scene. What happened? Okay. And please narrate so the so audience- we have clearly a woman fell down in the midst of trying to get a balanced breakfast for her children. <laughs> That's cocaine. Oh my God. Um, there is DNA in the orange juice. I would like to have that taken back to the lab. But clearly, she was trying to make a breakfast for her children, did not realize that they had gone keto, was collecting all of these carbs. They came to the supermarket. They stabbed her in the knees. She fell forward. The tendon severed. Um, and no one cleaned it up because she went to the bad supermarket that has this tile instead of the good ones. And also, <laughs> I would like to say that Carmen San Diego is in Kigali, Rwanda. <laughs> she is the criminal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I have a question. So you think Carmen San Diego killed this woman? Yeah, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Can we call her culpable for convincing the children that they should stab their mom and getting the children to go keto? I don't know. She's a criminal mastermind, okay? Okay. I'm not a lawyer who can say who's culpable. I can only say she's the one who convinced the children that they should stab their mom in the supermarket for buying them too many carbs. Wow. So in Also, the cereal is cocaine. Got it. Okay. So in, in three lines, what is the crime? The crime is clearly murder. Children <laughs> stabbed their mother in the front of the knees. She fell forward and hit her head on the supermarket floor, which was hard because she went to the cheap supermarket. And so the children directly committed the act, but they were exhorted to do that by Carmen San Diego, who is currently in Kigali, Rwanda, living with some chimpanzees. Yeah! Obviously! All right, well, I can't wait to see the video of that. You want to make it? You want to make it? You want to make it? Uh, Taylor, I want to say, if you're telling me that person can't be a mom, I have a couple of associations I would like to speak to you. You know, I mean, look, it is a Walmart, right? <laughs> Are we allowed to say it's a Walmart? Ah, uh, it's a Walmart! <laughs> One of the most sane things I've seen in a Walmart. You know, I'm gonna give you a thousand points because... <laughs> In a strange way, I feel like that was close. Thank you. I feel like that was close. All right, next up, Dwayne. Here is your crime scene. Feel free to use your magnifying glass. Hmm. Wow, she, hello. <laughs> Having a crime, I see. <laughs> and I'll tell you exactly what happened. There was a, a young lady. <laughs> she was on a jog. Those look like ASICs. Um, uh, and she was running so quickly, she was doing a marathon. Hello. Um, and she stopped by a hotel that said, Ooh. do not disturb. But she did, and things got violent. Ooh. That's when she was tossed against the window um, where the glass impaled her Achilles tendon. <laughs> There is no blood, because she didn't have any. She was already dead. Oh. oh. A vampire. Yes. <laughs> and that is what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's crazy. Because <laughs> that's clearly what happened. The, the evidence points to it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what, uh, what really happened. Are you guys ready? Yep. One. Two, three. <gasps> oh! Yes! A marathon of sorts. Uh huh. And we can't see his Achilles tendon, but it's probably cut. <laughs> I'm gonna give Dwayne two thousand points. 
<laughs> because not only was that very close, I really liked the detective voice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Taylor, I just want to tell you, one time I was shooting a sketch and I was supposed to walk into a wall, but then I ended up breaking the wall. And so I have a lot of identification with this situation. <laughs> it's something that many of us live with. <laughs> Do Kool-Aid. Do Kool-Aid. Anyways, I identify as a Kool-Aid American after that. <laughs> All right. Lastly, Detective Phoebe, please solve. Yeah. Please solve this crime scene. Tell us what happened. Okay. We got some paw prints. Maybe they stepped in a little Nutella. <laughs> because they were hungry, that's hungry. Um, <laughs> these are, you know, ponytail holders that white gals use. <laughs> or licorice, it could double as it. Um, this is like some sort of like mime shirt left over from a Randy night of six. Um, <laughs> and this is a balloon, you know, for safe sex. So, <laughs> I'm going to say this is the season three finale of Emily in Paris. A great show. And the, the black guy on the show lost his job and had to become a mime. Mm. And that's why he was wearing that shirt. And it's true love and, you know, dogs like to watch. So. <laughs> but Phoebe, he was a businessman in London. <laughs> You're telling me that's not correct. You're telling me. No, no, me. that just times up. We don't know if it's correct okay. yet. It, it is correct. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, we'll see. I Let's, agree. Dogs right? do like to watch. The dogs like to watch. <laughs> yeah. and Emily in Paris enjoys being watched. Yes. <laughs> Hello. We all remember that scene from yes. Emily in Paris. Yes. Yeah. Where the dog watches it's them. The yeah. Scene. Yeah. You know. <laughs> all right. Let's see how close you got. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Oh. oh, no. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, right? Pretty good. I don't know. The dog should look happier. I think this, it, it gives trauma. <laughs> <laughs> they are working this dog too hard. Why did that dog know how to do that? Oh. I mean, he's as cute as Emily in Paris, so I'm gonna yeah. give you 1,500 points. <laughs> Great job, everyone. You guys are basically forensics experts. Hopefully, you use your powers for good. When we come back, one of our panelists will be getting eliminated. We'll be right back. Aww.